far as I know, the trial's still going ahead. And Jeff's gonna have to stand in the witness box and tell all. Well, at least he hasn't said he won't. I wish we could conjure someone up who'd back Gran up. Ah, there you are. Well, look, all's not lost. Uh, Jeff might turn around and say that Yasmin never meant to hurt him. What? I know, it's so confusing. I hate all this. I just want my gran home. But if she gets home under his say-so, she'll just end up right back under his spell again. He who can do no wrong. <sighs> Going to the loo. Three eighty, please. Right. Sister, listening to Dyer. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Jeff's show from the uh, hospital radio. Thank First you. one back since. Hold on. Sorry. What a talent! Gone too soon. And thank you, listeners, for asking. Her. Yeah, I'm okay, ish. Well, no, come on, let's be honest. I'm not. Not by a long stretch. But I will be when I'm reunited with my darling wife, Yazzy Gumdrops. Such a People piece make of work. Mistakes. Which of us hasn't? As the Bible says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, I'll be casting no stones round here. If you love someone, you forgive them. <sighs> Brass neck of it. But now, taking us up to Cheryl and her <sighs> weekly slot about hospital hygiene, it's Rod Stewart, and first cut is the deepest. Is he trying to make amends? I mean, I, I don't understand. No, no, it's all part of his Mr. Nice Guy act. When, in fact, he's a freak. Well, well what, what are you trying to say here? I mean, she stabbed him, but he's the bad guy. Yasmin wouldn't do something like that. Not unless she was really pushed to it. 